Welcome back guys to another In The Fro vlog. Today's vlog is really, really special and exciting because it is a moment that I've been waiting for since... Was it November? Maybe November. And there's footage that I've not been able to show you. You might remember like last November we went on a trip to Soho Farmhouse with Dyson. And we went on this trip and I didn't show you any footage pretty much. I showed you I was getting there, I showed my dress and then I, I left. I mean, no one really questioned it, luckily, but it's because I wasn't able to show you pretty much the majority of the footage from that trip because it's all super special and exciting. What we were there to see is coming out today. Today. So, for complete transparency, this vlog is an integrated, paid-for advertorial with Dyson Hair. Hint, 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 hint. Because they are launching a product that is going to blow your mind as much as it blew my mind. It's genuinely so innovative and unique, completely unique, as every other product by Dyson and that James Dyson has put his name to. It's all about innovative products that can solve everyday tasks that we all do in a much more efficient, um, healthy, often way. It's no secret that I love the Dyson hair dryer. We've got the amazing Dyson Hoover that I showed you me using a few weeks ago on the vlog. I've got a couple of the Dyson heaters in the house because we've got a bit of a chilly house. Oh, and I've also got the Dyson air wrap as well for my hair. And very soon I'm gonna have one more product to add to that pile, which is by far gonna just go zoop right to the top of my pile of things I wanna use every single day. I'm just gonna have to get myself ready. And then me and Alex are heading into London at one o'clock, everything is going up. It's all going live at one. Um, and I can finally share, I can just finally share some of the work that I did back in November. And it's something that I've been like, I absolutely love what I've created for for this product, what me and Alex created back in November. So I've been so excited to share it. I've had to, I've had to wait for ages, but I'm just so, so thrilled to be working with Dyson on this. I am like, I am one of their hair girls for this year to promote this unbelievable product, which is an incredibly proud moment for me. I can't believe it really. I'm just so, so thrilled to be, to that Jason chose me as part of this project. So I can't wait to show you. Also, how sweet is this little top? A little knit square neck top. This was 35 pounds. How good. How great is that? I'll leave a link down below. And it is part of a sustainably, thoughtfully made collection as well, which makes me very happy. Right, guys, I'm gonna wait for Alex to make me a coffee. I'm gonna put on my SPF and the rest of my face. And then I'm gonna go, I just need to pack my bag because we're staying overnight tonight after, after the launch event. We're going back to Claridge's Hotel and we're staying there with Dyson. Just for a bit of insider info here, this launch event was meant to be in New York, so we were meant to be in New York right now. We were meant to have gone on Sunday, but with, um, obviously, with the issues with the virus, the trips were cancelled. So instead they're being held now in London, which of course is super nice and easy to get to, which is great. But we were quite excited about that. But at the end of the day, the most exciting thing here is the launch of this product, so can't wait to see much more myself now. I am ready for the day. Although I know I've been, this is like day 365 of Victoria complaining about her dry skin, but my eyeballs feel like they're about to fall off. I feel like I'm getting a bit of eczema over both eyes. They're so dry. Everything is just dry. And I think it's the weather killing me. I just need to slap loads of that Lumine on later. I'm gonna take it with me on this trip and just put on some of the 72 hour hydration mask and just let it sink in because it's so sore. Putting on eye cream this morning it was like, ah. <laughs> Anyway, off we go. <laughs> We stopped for a really super quick Joe and the Juice stop before we go. If any of you guys have been to Joe and the Juice recently and they started doing this carrot cake, it's the most delicious carrot cake, maybe ever. This cream cheese topping is just divine. So good. Board sheets, board sandwiches, and then we're going to get on to the event. Right, we're here. We are here for the launch event. These guys are still putting up the... The exteriors for the Dyson store right now. This Dyson store, by the way, is literally right opposite 
Selfridges, so it's in a really great location. So excited. There's like people waiting outside for this to go in. Do any of them know what it actually is? If only is. they knew what it's going to be. Know. You know. Do you know? know? I don't think you know. It's so amazing, I can't wait to show you. Plusieurs de Dyson aujourd'hui? Oui, c'est bon, c'est très bien. D'accord. And here we have our um, air wrap, which uh, uses the Coanda technology to wrap the hair and produce various interesting styles. And we have a heater. You can have a heater, a cooler, a purifier, cryptology. This is the new Dyson Corral. It uh, styles your hair without extreme heat. It gives you a wonderful style. And the copper plates flex around the hair. So you end up with a glossy, undamaged hair, uh, perfectly styled. So it's only really gripping the hairs in the center. And tension is extremely important. Tension and heat are the way that you straighten hair and style hair. So you can see that's not really on the left. Flat plates are not doing a good job. Whereas the corral on the right has wonderful neat edges. It's got the tress to, uh, to apply even tension and even heat. As you just saw, uh, James Dyson was in Paris in the Dyson store showing, <laughs> literally walking around the store saying hi to people and some of them didn't even recognise him. I was like, imagine you'd be like, oh my god, you're James Dyson. Anyway, so you're showing everyone the big reveal, the big launch of the Dyson Corral. Um, I'm going to have Larry do my hair in a minute so I can kind of show you a bit more like up close and see how it works and different types of techniques that you can use on your hair. There's lots of different things that you can do that I didn't know you could do with a styler. A few key points before I get into it because it's just, it is game changing. First of all, it's cordless. I've never had anything. I've never had cordless style before. Obviously the main thing about the fact it's cordless, you can do your hair anywhere. You can take it in your car with you, obviously parked up. You can do your hair on the go, on a bus, on um, in the car, on the way somewhere, if you are just in between meetings. And it's anything, you can just take this away with you in your handbag. It's so, so simple, so easy. So the hair is corralled together inside of these flexible plates which means that the heat, the tension and the control is all applied evenly across every single hair. So the hair doesn't splay right or left down the sides of the plates. It, everything is kept perfectly all together in one fell swoop, which means that you don't need to continue styling and styling your hair over and over in order to get perfectly beautifully styled hair. Here he is! Hi! He's going to do my hair in a minute. <laughs> Stand up on it, and I can charge it from that as well, like a charging board. And it's set inside the velvet. Velvet. Velvety black pouch. Okay, and then you it. So if you want to take this on a plane, this little, literally like a little button, you can just pull that out and it completely unhooks the battery. So you're able to take it to like airplane mode again. Let's go get my hair done now by Larry. So I've got Larry. Hi Larry. Hello. <laughs> right, can you show us on camera, Larry, a few different techniques of how to use them? So you, you can basically see now, I'm just creating this nice curl. You can just see the control it gave me as I was working through with the flexible plates. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a pretty impressive curl. I mean, look at it. And how smooth But then you can also kind of you know, I'm going to take this section here and you're going to see that we're going to basically, we're going to really create a kind of an S shape in the hair and that's really just by tapping on the plates, just really gently moving the corral, letting the corral do all of the work for you, letting the flexible plates really gather the hair and as you can see we're just moving it through the hair and we're just creating this different kind of S pattern through the hair and it's just really like I said using the crowd gather the hair give you the, give you that perfect control to give you that really nice S it looks way. so good doesn't it and it's, it's actually super simple and because yeah. you know other straighteners you tend to find that the hair tends to fall out of the plates as you're kind of trying to do this kind of technique but with the Dyson Crow because the plates flex they give you that real good control and you really can use it at a low temperature as well so you're not using it at a high temperature just create that really beautiful pattern in the hair and then afterwards you can just shake it out and create that bit of separation 
a bit more of a kind of cool girl softness of vibes rock and roll. Yeah, I like the cool girl look. Yeah. I mean, I'm not very cool, so I, I like to pretend my hair you is. You are super cool. Thank oh. you, Larry. The idea with any any hair tool for me, when you get it, you've got to practice with it, get used to it, really move it around and adapt it. And don't kind of create a style and once you've done it, let, like just let it sit into the hair. You've got to get your hands in there as well and move the hair around so it comes more natural and more lived in, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I look I look silly when I just leave my hair. Like if I left my hair with all of these yeah. in the ringlets, it would look weird on me. It would yeah, be too we've much. Been, well, basically we're creating all of these different styles throughout your hair right now. So we're doing the S-rays, the curls and all these things. And then we're going to just basically run our hands through it, put a lot of product through it and kind of get a bit more grungier. Yeah. That's what I like. And that's what that's what Larry did to my hair when we did our shoot at Soho Farmhouse. So I've literally just posted this video on my feed that me and Alex shot when we were at Soho Farmhouse. And Larry had just done my hair here. But um, yeah, we went for this really grungy look. And yeah, that's just gone up. And also me and Larry did some amazing pictures together with, with the goats. And on the bikes, where's the goat one? I love the goat one. What's the that? Goat one. Let me find the goats. Let me find it. This is the best one. Look at Larry. So happy. Look at the goat. The goat looks as happy as and, me. And the goat. I mean, the goat <laughs> is just amazing. Yeah. So we had we had so much fun at the um, Soho Farmhouse. In fact. I will insert some clips now of back in November at Soho Farmhouse so you can see exactly what happened when we first discovered it. Good morning guys. It's super early, 6.30 and we are just about to set off for the Dyson headquarters. You guys will be seeing this footage until months later. It's now November. We are going to have a little tour of the Dyson factory and to see their brand, brand new product. I don't even know what it is yet. Alex doesn't know what it is yet. Super excited about it. I mean, it's it's Dyson. It's going to be unbelievable. So you guys are only seeing this in March when it comes out. So we're going to both be finding out what this is kind of at the same time, kind of not, but um, I'm just excited to put this up in the end. The route has been changed due to the current traffic conditions. So we're on our way to Malmesbury, which is over in Wiltshire, Wiltshire, which is in the Cotswolds, near the Cotswolds. It's very early and there's already lots of traffic on the road. I have no idea how this has happened. <laughs> So I hope we get there on time because at this rate we might not, to be honest. Let's be positive, shall we? So with this rig, we're counting how many brush strokes each hair, a hair tress is experiencing. We're, we're controlling how fast it is. So if you want to, you can give that dial a little turn if you want to <coughs> speed it up, slow it down. It'd be great if you had like four kids and you had to brush yeah. them every day, wouldn't it? You just stick their heads in there. <laughs> and this one in the middle looks like it's probably towards the tip of somebody's hair. That looks quite mechanically damaged possibly bleached as well maybe, but it's very hard to tell unless we really understand what's happened to it. But you can imagine if you've got 100,000 of those on your head, you might feel some more friction as those hairs are rubbing together, they're a little bit rougher, so brushing might be harder. So the, the coat that goes across, it lays some powder, which is 0.12 of a mil, and then the heating then kicks in. Hello! So, we haven't, I haven't been able to get any footage as of yet um, of the Dyson Corral, the Dyson Corral. Are we in the future right now? We're in the future right now. We're, we're oh. months ahead. I've, okay. already, I've already filled them in on the, on the time scale. Okay. Yeah, we weren't allowed to film in there. This is so exciting. We got to chat with um, loads of the guys that are behind the manufacturing and the creating and the development of that product. Mitch was chatting to us. Um, he's the guy who kind of came up with the whole concept. Um, and it was years and years ago that he thought of this idea of how to create it. Seven years ago. Yeah, he said it's seven years ago. And he's been they've been working on the technology ever since then. So there's a lot more that goes into this pair of straighteners than than you'll find in other brands, for example. The main thing being these really really technical plates that are there obviously to straighten the hair. They've got this really light coating on them so that they glide over the hair. So they did lots of trials and they found out that their product caused 40% less damage to the hair than other 
similar uh, products. So that's why it's been years in the making and that's why this product is going to be the elite of the category when it launches, which is right now. <laughs> so um, I'll leave it down below guys in the description box, a little link where you can go find the new Dyson Corral. Very exciting. Um, so now we're on our way to Soho Farmhouse. We've just set off before everyone else. Everyone else is on the bus, I think. The only reason I wanted to drive because I thought, well, it's through the countryside. And, and did you the enjoy the drive this morning? The drive this morning was absolutely horrendous. We um, saw a couple of crashes. We saw a couple of crashes. We almost crashed and we yeah. at one point because there was a massive puddle um, that I didn't see and we literally went through it and I couldn't see for about two seconds because of so much water. So, and then obviously we were, we were going very, very slow. It just the flooded everywhere, wasn't it? It was just flooded everywhere and it was raining. It was just horrendous conditions, so. It I wasn't arrived. It wasn't your uh, your nice drive through the countryside. So no, what... I was really looking forward to a lovely drive through the countryside, but I mean, it was still beautiful, but just very difficult to maneuver around. And then uh, Larry's gonna be there, Larry King, my hairdresser, who did my wedding hair. He's there, because he's a Dyson ambassador. So he's gonna be teaching us how to use the product, which is very cool. Yeah. So we'll check in with you when we eat some lunch. Yes, please. Hi guys, can you actually see me? We're all checked in at Soho Farmhouse. Let me just quickly show you this place. So this is our room, we're in one of the cabins. Unbelievable size bed, this is like our bed at home. Huge emperor size bed. Um, they've even got a wood burner. Sorry about the mess, because we obviously just you got our stuff out. Do you want to point out the, uh, the happy birthday cake that you were... Uh, there was ate. a happy birthday cake, and I accidentally just went for it without reading <coughs> happy birthday. <coughs> accidentally. I did. And they'd left some balloons in the room, but we've got them to come yeah, pick them up. To them Someone, up someone's 40 today. <laughs> um, little desk area. Everything's just really kitchen, super cute. And then in here is a small kitchen area where they've left snacks and bread, fresh bread, little fresh granolas, a little toast and thing. It's absolutely adorable in here. So you come into this room, beautiful little cabin, and then a sweet little bathroom. We've got all of the different cowshed products because they're obviously owned by Soho House. Little shower and bathroom. And I am absolutely in love with it. I think because we're only about an hour and a bit away from this place, this is going to be my new place that me and Alex come along to when we just need some time, the two of us, like a romantic weekend away. I'm just going to start booking us in here, I think. Cause we're going to start doing more of it, aren't we? We're going to start doing a lot more time together because it's very much needed, I think. Mm -hmm. So, I am wearing a brand new dress tonight and absolutely love it. I got this from Coggles. Beautiful meal. It's the most stunning room. We're all having such a little romantic meal together. So we're going to create a nice little S-wave here, uh, just using the crowds, so the plates that we talked about yesterday, the flexible plates that they basically hold the hair in, so you get that real nice control as you're running through the hair. Do you know what I mean? So that enables you to create that really nice S wave or flat wave, which kind of sits really nice to your cheekbones, mm. but you also enables you to do it in one swift movement. So you're kind of using it on, on a low temperature. So you're really keeping the condition of your hair optimum. Amazing. So we'll start here. We'll keep it low, and we'll just create this S shape through the hair. So it's a real nice shape just on your cheeks there. Yeah, I quite like it when it's a few different curls yeah, mixed up. a few different curls mixed up. Makes it look a bit more like grungy because yeah. it's not as uniform. Yeah, exactly. Grungy texture. Mm. I think it goes so well in my hair with this hair colour. Yeah. I really like that grungy does. look. Because we're using slightly higher heat, inside the Dyson Crow it's got a glass booth and a mister, which is in the same as all of the Dyson product, products that, where it kind of reads the temperature that it's emitting. Oh. So supersonic does it like 20 times a second. Really? Yeah, this does it 100 times a second. So if you put it at 165, this 100 times a second will read what, it's come, what's, what temperature is going through the plates. Wow. And it will adjust the temperature so that it will always stay perfect. Wow. It's exactly the same as the supersonic. 
supersonic won't go above 150 degrees. So if you go really close with a nozzle, it can't go above 155. What it does is it starts to flutter the air. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's why they've, you know, for me, that's why they've been such a huge, huge game changer in the hair, in the, you know, the beauty and the, well, mainly hair industries because they're kind of like, they've kind of just come along and really pushed the boundaries of hair health mm -hmm. which is what was needed you know people were s s you know doing so many different things that were causing problems to their hair do you know what i mean yeah. so created one so what you could do is split that keep that one there and then we could do like a bit of an s on this one a little bit more so it just gives it a bit of a varied different ones mm -hmm. You can also get some hair like this and just do some horizontal ones. So you're just putting a really light gentle bend in. Hi. We're not far from being mm -hmm. done, babes. Okay. And that is my hair done. Look how fab that looks. And that's all from a styler. Larry just finished it off. It just looks so great. This is exactly how I just want my hair to look every day. Just really like undone, messed up, toothy, um, like grungy hair. I just really love this kind of style and I think it works with this, my length of hair. Isn't it fab? But it's just such an innovative, amazing new um, tool. I'm just so excited about it, I really am. I hope that's coming across like, I'm so proud to be working with Dyson on this. It's like, I'm like their hair girl for this product which is huge i mean this is dyson and this is their this amazing new game-changing product so i'm i'm just so proud i'm so proud and um i'm so thankful i just want to show you a quick room tour guys we just checked in at, at um claridge's i've never actually stayed in this hotel before and i've always wanted to and dyson have well and truly treated us to the most incredible suite in here i did not expect this let me just quickly show you this is our lounge complete with beautiful fireplace wow and chandelier and a corner view looking out over claridge's then into the bedroom that is full of bits and bobs now but it's massive in here so wonderful and so squidgy squidgy on the carpet huge wardrobe i'm trying not to show you myself because i've not got any pants on right now <laughs> enormous dreamy wardrobe with dyson which is great and then oh hello i can't I'm in all the mirrors and then into here is one of two bathrooms so depending on which one you want to go in oh hello um yeah this one has a shower and a sink this one has a sink a bathtub and a shower it's like couples couples bathrooms and this beautiful entrance way i mean how nice so great so i'm just gonna get myself ready for dinner and zhuzh this Good morning guys. <laughs> I'm just finishing off. Oh, I'm just finishing off the morning get myself ready. I was gonna have Larry come over this morning to do my hair again for me, just while I was all like ready and prepped for the day. But then I was like, actually, I realised I hadn't even shown you guys me using the Dyson Corral, so I thought instead I would just show you how I like to use it and just do a much more like casual getting ready thing this morning. Not to sound like a broken record, but my skin is just peeling off in droves. So it's very difficult um, to, I mean, I've literally got a full patch here that's come off. Cause I've obviously fake tanned as well and now it's all peeling off. I've literally got a big part here and all of this is coming off cause this is all dry. Oh gosh, it's a bit of a mess to be honest at the moment. I don't know what's going on with me. Anyway. Anyway, I need to find a way to be able to show you what I'm doing here. I need it up here, the camera. Ah, much, much better. You can actually see me too. Yeah, I just wanted to show you really. Well, whilst I was getting ready this morning to go out, because I haven't really even shown you this in more detail. And of course, this video is a sponsored video with Dyson. And I am a Dyson ambassador for this year, which is something I'm unbelievably proud of. Um, I mean, what an absolute dream come true. I could not think of a more incredible hair brand than Dyson hair. 
So I'm genuinely just excited about this product. I think it's fantastic. Also, I'm just gonna throw this in there. I, I shouldn't even really mention it, to be honest, but I'm going to. Um, thank you for all the amazing comments on my Instagram video with Dyson that I put up yesterday with me doing my hair with the horse and on the bike. The point of that video was that it was like a fun concept video. It was just meant to sh sort of show the fact that it's a cordless straightener. You can use it anywhere you want, even if you're on the farmyard or on a bike. It's meant to be a bit of fun, a bit tongue a bit tongue-in-cheek and there's just a few comments where people are like yeah but it doesn't look like it's heating up your hair of course the styler wasn't on I had it in my pocket I was reaching for it without looking it was meant to be very blase and sort of fun concept video 99% uh, of people got that and were like this is really cool and the comments were amazing so yeah like I said it comes in this really easy handy velvet pouch to keep it safe if it is gonna be warm and you're sticking it back in your bag um, but this is what it looks like a bit more up close and personal it's just a bit of a work of art in terms of an electronic tool it just looks really slick it looks really luxurious it's got that signature dyson coloring in there similar um, colors to the supersonic with the bright pink it, it kind of looks very dyson straight away it's got that brand signature that runs runs through it the plates here these are the flexible plates um, super thin super fine um, they went through many many trials of lots of different plates before they became before they came to this this creation so just unbelievable technology that's gone into making these like super super fine and it just means that your hair glides over them really smoothly but the whole point of the Dyson Corral the word I I'll be honest I did, I'd never heard the word corral before this and then I told Rebecca and she was like oh like um like where you collect things together you corral them and I was like oh didn't know that but yeah that's the point so these plates is that the point of the plate is that they flexibly you might be able to see they flex over things and they curve around things so that when your hair goes inside of them it will curve around your hair like a little oval shape and it almost like pushes it all together which means that you won't have a piece of hair splaying here splaying there getting caught it just collects all the hairs together so you get a really smooth and even placement of the hair down the plates so yeah let me show you let me show you this working so obviously it's got a little button flick the button to open it up um, if you want to take this on a plane, I'll show you this yesterday, if you want to take this on a plane, there's a little airplane symbol there. You literally just flick this out. You literally just flick that out and that now makes that flight safe because it means that the battery has been disconnected. The power has been disconnected from the battery. The on button, I've got full battery, so it's got this um, LED screen here that shows you the battery life on it. And then here you can choose your heat settings you want to go 210 185 or 165 the whole point of the corral is to reduce your hair damage allow more allow you more control over how you're styling it and because of the way that it collects the hair and pushes it all together and evenly spreads the heat throughout the entire strand of hair you will hopefully not have to go over it and over it and over it and over it again ruining that piece of hair and damaging it more hopefully you should be able to just go one two you know and only touch it once that is the whole point so i'm going to put it on 185 it also comes with the little base and the cool thing about this is you just have this plugged in into your wall and then this sits the little they go together it's a connection point obviously this isn't plugged in but you would hear a bing, bing so then you can just keep it on your table stood up like this and in between any time so you just want to put it down for a minute you can do and just sit it on there just really lovely little feature so my hair is still quite fabulous from yesterday, to be honest, when, when Larry did it. But I'm just going to do a few extra curls here just to show you a few of my, how I get this kind of look. And I've been so waiting for the corral to come out so I can use it. I've been actually straightening my, using a straightener to do my hair for the past few weeks rather than a curler. And I've really been enjoying that kind of way of styling. So let's just take like a front piece. So just like you would a normal straightener. I'm just gonna glide it through. I often then like to curl it back up and then drop it down to see so you get that full like curl effect. I've annoyingly not got a brush with me. Alex has literally just left with the suitcases. He's gone home a little bit earlier than me because I'm going meeting a friend for a coffee. And he's taken my suitcase and it's got a brush in it. <laughs> anyway, so showing you again, holding the strand with the opposite hand, taking the corral, over it keep it nice and flat and then give it a curl pull it out so it's literally just one curl and then i like to then wrap it up the barrel 
just so you can keep it dropped, just so it drops out nicely like, like this. So that's one type of curl that I like to do, as Larry was showing you. what This kind of style looks great if you really mix up the types of curls. So, so if I did this curl, as you can see, they're now looking too uniform because they're side by side. So I might pull that out a little bit and play with it in a minute. But what I find is really nice when I want to do this kind of twosled curl is just mixing up the types of curls. So like Larry was showing you, this, this is one that I really like. You kind of pull the straightener through, like this, and then as it's curled, you take the straightener out and down and round, pull it through a bit more, do one full turn, pull it out again, <laughs> it's a bit complicated, but like this, and that gives you this ribbon curl. It just literally looks like a really kind of grungy ribbon because I don't want big, with this kind of look, I don't want really big Hollywood glam curls. You can, you could do that if you wanted to, but it's a different technique. Then like Larry was showing you, you can take a piece of hair, push it so it's on a bend, and you almost like just push the straightener into it. Now I'm gonna bend it around again. It's almost like that shape of the River Thames. <laughs> and then push it around again. And it's just like you're using the heat to almost lock this kink shape into, can you see that S there now? Okay, the camera decided it was full at that moment. But if you can see that lovely S shape, it's just completely different and a nice way to kind of mix up the styles a little bit. So that's three different types of curls that I like. Should we try one that's like a bit bigger? I'm gonna give this a really big, I'm gonna give it a full 360 turn and pull it through. There we go. Just something a bit bigger and wider and more kind of glam wave. I mean, it doesn't quite go with this style, but you know, you can just, it's like Larry Sitt was saying yesterday with this sort of style as well. It's all about mixing it up rather than just leaving them all set and sat where they are. Just get your hands in there, like create like a little comb shape and just brush through and you get that really cool messed up style. If I could have my hair like this every day, I would. If I had if I had the time to, then I would. Hopefully that shows it in a bit more detail and also I really wanted to show you me doing it just to show you that it is easy. Like not everyone has a hairstylist on hand to do their own hair, so I wanted to show you how I would use the Dyson Corral as well to get this kind of messed up style. I think it looks really good, like beachy, looks really kind of like, yeah, beachy, beachy wave hair. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there actually, because I don't wanna, there's no part of me applying too much more heat. Um, you've kind of seen it a few times now in action. Let me know any questions on it if you have any. It's a really incredible piece of technology and I really didn't realise how much I needed a cordless styler until this came into my life and I've just been desperate to get my hands on it ever since. So I'm just thrilled to be part of this whole campaign. It's all thanks to you guys and the support that you guys give me. So thank you so much as always for everything um, and all your support you always give me. Of course, I'll leave links down below to where you can get the Dyson Corral. The chances are that this first batch that's been released may sell out a little bit faster. Um, just because of how exciting this new this new technology is. So just to kind of mention that, that you might want to get your hands on it sooner rather than later, potentially. I've known in the past that's happened and people haven't been able to get hold of the product because it's sold out. Also, it does have an auto shut off feature. So if, you've, if you think that if you've gone out to work and you're thinking, oh God, I've just left those on on my bed, they will shut off after 30 minutes, I believe. And you also get 30 minutes of cordless straightening out of these or curling. I'm gonna wrap these up now, I'm gonna get off, I'm just gonna go meet my friend Charlotte for a coffee, because I've not seen her in ages, and I'm gonna get back to the house and then I will see you there. But if not, thank you so much for watching guys, I will leave the links down below to the Dyson Corral for you to go and have a peek at. Thank you so much for being here and thank you to Dyson um, for making me a very proud ambassador. I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.